Hello and welcome to this Django tutorial. In this video, we will look at the project that we are to build in this series. So this is a store inventory management system where we will have a record of all the items that we have, how much of that item do we have, and we can click on the item. For example, I have a pen and the quantity of pen that I have in the store is 20. I can click on the pen and issue the pen out to somebody or receive the pen. For example, we have 20. I'm going to click issue this item and I specify the quantity. Let's say I'm going to issue out 5 and I'm going to issue it out to F yellow. Click issue item. So now this item is issued, issued successfully 15 pens left in the store. So you can see that notification will tell us how much is left in the store. If you notice previously we were not having this a lot on the quantity so we've since we've set the reorder level to 15 so once this quantity gets to 15 it's gonna allow us to see the difference I'm gonna click home you can see for pens it has it is 15 and the mouse is 10 so both of these items reach their reorder level so if I click on the mouse you will see the reorder level is 10 so that means i want the system to alert me that this item is running low when it gets to 10 so i can click on the reorder level and adjust it for example i want to set it to 5 i'm going to click that i'm going to type 5 and update reorder level so now you can see we are now more alerted that this is running low so each item you can individually set at what quantity that it will alert you okay so this is how to issue out now let's say if you want to receive for example this pen is running low i want to receive the pen and click on to receive this item i want to receive 10 and click receive item so now we have 25 and if i head back to home you can see we have 25 on the pens we have 10 for mouse we have 12 for keyboards now if i want to see all these transactions that happen in the system within a specified time I can go to view is it report and then specify for the category or maybe if I want to see a specific item I'm gonna click on pen and click view report so you can see we had we have 15 pens left in the store we had issued 12 of them so we issued five pens and we have 15 left in the store okay so i'm going to do one more for pen i'll head back to home click on pen i'm going to click issue again i want to issue out two this time to old jammer and click issue so we have three left and it says issued successfully all right so now if i head back to home and I click view is report so I want to see all the transactions for pen I'm gonna click view report at some point we received 10 so after receiving 10 we had 25 and when I did another issue of 2 we had 23 left in the store so if I want to see the receives for the pen I'll have to go to home and click view receive report and I can click on the pen and click view report so you can see we once received 10 after receiving 10 we had 25 in the store okay so this is um, how to issue and receive devices or items in your store all right so now if I want to create a new item for example we have uh, another item in the stationery for example we have a4 papers so i want to add a4 paper to the system i'm gonna go to add item so i'm gonna click stationary and i'm gonna click so here i don't have a4 paper so i'm gonna go to settings and uh, create items i'm gonna type a4 paper and click create so now i can head back to home Add new item so I'm gonna click the category that I want to put this item in and I click a4 paper the quantity I can leave it at zero 
or yeah, I can leave it at zero and click create store item. So right now we have zero items for A4 paper. So if I click on A4 paper, the reorder level is set to zero. I'm gonna set it to 10 and I click update reorder level. I'm gonna click on A4 paper and click receive this item. And then I wanna receive, let's say five and I click receive item. So you can see we have five in the store. If I click on home, so that will give us the summary of all the items that I have. Okay, so this list can grow all the way up to 15 and you can be clicking on the next and back button if you want to see or you can filter. I want to see all the, let's say for example, I want to see only the stationaries. I can click stationaries and click filter. So this one will just display only stationaries. For example, I want to display the peripherals. I can click on that and it will display the peripherals. If I want to see all of them, I just have to select the blank and it will display all of them. Likewise, the item, I can click on the mouse and click filter. So that will show me just the mouse. Okay, so we have five A4 papers in the store and we want to issue it out. We click issue item. So we want to issue out all the five, but we mistakenly type six and then say issue it out to a scene and click issue this item. So it says issue was not successful. You cannot issue more than the balance in the store. Five A4 paper left in the store. So it's gonna allow us that we have less than what we want to issue in uh, from the database. All right. So I'm gonna click close. All right. So and now I can go back to issue and then issue five is with out to assign and click OK. You can now see we are successful this time. We will click on the export and then see whether we can export this item. Indeed, we are able to export it. So this is the file that was exported from the system and it is a CSV file. OK, so and you can do an export from the dashboard that is here and you can also do uh, an export from the issue window okay so now if i go back to home here we have one item that reached it reorder level let's say now we have a lot of items in our store but we just wanted to see only the items that reach that reorder level i'm gonna click on the order level report so that will show us only the items that reach the reorder level so we can export that and then go purchase them and then stock our store. That is this store management system. And this is what we are to build in this tutorial. We will be using Django as the framework and Django uses Python. So we'll be working with Python, HTML, CSS and JavaScript to replicate this system from start to finish. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification so that you'll be alerted anytime we post videos like this. Alright, so I hope you'll enjoy this series. Thank you.